Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April. So, it could happen at any time in April. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April? There it is. To the sea. We're going to read that card. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. There are no points in a relationship when you have to decide to go, or there are points, there are points in, the, in a relationship where you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most prosperous potential. To get into that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your personal currency lies in your skills, your talents and abilities, and most important, your core beliefs. Everything flows from your inner world as it and is reflected in the outer one. When grateful to serve, you allow, you allow your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness. You align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness. You can expect miracles. Everything you need will come to you easily. So this is about alignment and it's about going with the flow. Don't fight it. Just go with the flow. Let things happen easily and better things will come to you. Things will become more easy. So this is a month of just going with the flow. And you're probably headed towards prosperity and abundance by doing so. If, if nothing else, you'll be at peace. Okay. It's about cooperating, you know, and blending. It's kind of, to me, it's interesting that I say that because that's like the temperance card. But, you know, just in the temperance is about uh, going with the flow. So, um, what do we have for Leo? Ace of Wands. This is a clean slate. You, you have the opportunity to create whatever you want. This is a very creative time. This tells me that you, you, have, you can paint the world that you want. You can create what you want. This is, this is a time of growth. This is exciting. This is kind of like when you create a vision board and you believe in it and it manifests. So it's definitely an exciting time. It's a time of growth. You notice that sun is bright. So this is a bright opportunity. You're gonna, it feels like you're headed towards, well, obviously you're headed towards a new exciting beginning. This is a new life, right? The Ace of Wands. I think it's definitely a time of fertility and it's a time of growth.
Some of you may be getting into painting. You may be getting into art or doing something new that is very, very creative. This could be a new creative endeavor. It's also a very positive, healthy energy. And it, it feels like you're really going to be in a good space this month. A really good space. Page of Wands reversed. Oh, Ace of Pentacles upright. Six of Wands reversed. So this is this is self doubt. It's lack of confidence. It's not following through, losing focus. Maybe you've lost sight of what your what your vision is, what your what what you want for your life. This is this is not winning, you know, a fighting, and it is because the six of wands upright is the end of a battle. But here it's like fighting, fighting the flow, and it's interesting that I said don't fight it. This is just seriously, don't fight it, don't fight it. I see that you are very determined. You're determined, but sometimes you, maybe you're determined to prove something. It's not about proving something. It's not about winning. It's about. Um, it feels like cooperating and allowing things to happen. You definitely have a new opportunity here that can lead to prosperity. You could be receiving a gift or an offer from somebody. This is something that you can take to the bank. It could even be an offer from a bank. It could be a bank loan. It could be some sort of money or an inheritance that is coming in. I feel like um, you have manifested something. You have. You, you're going to be given an opportunity this month that is very, very exciting, abundant, and prosperous. But, the, but with this page of wands reversed, I mean, this is in your energy. Okay, the page of, this is, this is right now, this is in your energy. This is lack of focus. It's lack of drive, lack of ambition, perhaps lack of confidence. You may be, you may get easily distracted by the need, by the desire to win. It's not about winning. Okay, this is a message you need to hear. It's about going with the flow. You don't need to win it in any fight because this is a fight. It is what comes before the six of wands, the five of wands. You don't need to win the battle. You don't need to win the fight. The best thing to do is just keep it going. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You know, don't fight. There's no need to fight with anybody. And I'm not saying that you fight all the time. I, I feel like this is just a message that you need to hear. Somebody may be picking a fight with you. This is pessimism. You know, be optimistic. The Page of Wands can be an energy of, you know, I'm a victim. You're not a victim. Nobody is really a victim. You, if you want to see it that way, then hey, then you, that's your own thoughts. But this is you're, you're not a victim. <clears throat> I think that you are dealing with somebody who may like to pick fights with you. Just keep it moving. You, you definitely are going to be given an opportunity for stability, for long-term success. This is very, very exciting. It will grow, but you gotta let go of your pessimism. You gotta let go of your desire to, you know, fight it. Whatever it is, there's a fight here, and I, and I think it's you fighting something, fighting. I don't know if it is gravity or fighting change or wanting to win. It's not about winning. It's not about winning. <clears throat> This is having the power in your hands. Seriously. This is all earthly powers, okay? That are right in your hand. This is this is manifestation. I feel like you have manifested something very exciting. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is acting up. Now this is a new spark. It's a it's a new drive. It's a new ambition. So you're, you're definitely going to be going through a change, okay? And it is a positive. It's a very positive change. 
Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be taking on this energy. This is somebody who takes on a new approach, a new perspective, sees things clearly. Um, now that she's got the sword of power in her hand as well. She's got the Ace of Swords in her hand. You could say that we have three aces here. You really could. All in the upright position. You have manifested something. One, one, one. And you gotta, you got to be paying attention to your thoughts this time, at this time. Because your thoughts are truly, truly, truly manifesting. It's interesting that I mentioned a vision board. You might want to make a vision board this month. Anyhow, um, I do believe that this month you are going to be gaining a new perspective. You're going to be seeing things differently. You're moving in a new direction. And wherever it is that you're moving to, it does lead to success. But you're going to need to let go of your fears. You're going to need to let go of the need to fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight whatever this is. Just go. And if somebody tries to fight with you, keep it moving. Just keep it moving. All right. I do believe that you are whoever is making you an offer this and this. I don't know if this is a business offer or some sort of proposition. Um, this person is very honest, very direct, very truthful. Somebody is going to be giving you an opportunity this opportunity it's a, and it could have to do with something that you create you could be a creator you know some some sort of creative opportunity that could make you money you have some sort of skill i believe that can make you money and I feel like this person sees something in you. This could also somebody be seeing that your value. Okay, somebody may be seeing your value or your creative abilities or something like that. Eight of coins, work, 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 hard work, something working out, your hard work paying off. You may be seeing an increase of money. It could be an increase of financial growth, okay? So if some of you have been struggling financially, because this is financial and this is growth, so you could be seeing, and it's because of a new approach that you take. So you may be taking a new approach, or you have, you know, and if you take that new approach and you go with the flow, whatever it is, you're going to be seeing an increase. Some of you may get a new job offer. But this page of wands is very, in reverse, is very pessimistic energy. And that's your energy right in the middle. That's you being pessimistic. You know, this could be a level of confusion and indecision. I'm not sure if I want to do it. Don't fight it. You should do it. You should do it. Somebody may want to work with you. They're going to be offering you something. And there is some sort of hard work and paying off. I feel like you have manifested something. And this is an ability to create the life it is to create the life that you want. There's something, your authenticity. I, I see some authenticity here, and I think it's yours. I think that, the, that somebody sees your, your realness. They see your authenticity. They, they see your value, and they're going to be offering you something. And this is exciting, but I think that you're going to be like, oh, I'm not sure about this. This is reluctant to take a new approach. It really is because six is in reversed. You know, that's a reluctance to take that, fighting it. But this is in the past. So I think that you have been, maybe you fought things in the past or you were going in the wrong direction in the past. You weren't, maybe there was a lack of ambition, a lack of drive. Things change. If you were feeling ill or you were feeling sick or you were being held back for some reason, things are definitely going to change because I associated this card with a temperance card. And temperance is about change. It's about evolution. 
So I think as you make whatever change this is and you go with the flow and you don't fight change and you start to do things differently, you're going to create, you're manifesting that new opportunity. And that opportunity is coming this month. This is an opportunity that, you know, I think is going to uh, make you very happy. Okay. You're going to be in a powerful position as well. I see power here. It feels like you're, you're in a very powerful position. Justice reversed. Justice reversed is an injustice treated unfairly. There's some sort of unfair treatment here. You could be there could be news of legalities this month. I just gotta be honest with you. Some but something somebody is gonna receive some news. Um it could be unwelcome news in regards to some legalities, you know, some legal issues. There is a reality check that is coming. There definitely is. Somebody is going to be receiving. I think it feel like it's harsh news. This is unfair treatment. And this is in a future position, unfortunately. There could be some court rulings, okay? Or a legal loss. Or an argument with no resolution in sight where you just need to walk away. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. I do think it's, you're dealing with somebody and I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. I think that you are dealing with somebody who has treated you unfairly. This person is very, very harsh. Maybe you need to use that sword to cut them out of your life. That is the sword that cuts. You have to do the right thing. You have to do the right thing for you. You need balance in your life. You have the power to create the life that you want. But if you're dealing with somebody that is stealing your energy or somebody that is putting you down, you need to remove them. You need to cut them out. You could be dealing with somebody that lies about you, you know, that talks behind your back. Just let them. Just let him. Who cares? This person likes to poke you. He does. I feel like you got somebody here that wants to fight with you. You know, they want to poke you. They want to get you going. Keep it moving. You're creating a new life. You've evolved. I can see your evolution. So anyway, I do think that you are going to be receiving an opportunity to go in a new direction. You need to think positive. Remember, one, 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 your thoughts become things. And I do see that because I have this Ace of Swords here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. That's one, one, one. That's instant manifestation. This is... Whoever you're dealing with is going to get some bad karma. And I hate to say that, but justice reversed is bad karma. You may be dealing with a karmic person that is that is here to uh, wake you up. Okay, because the Ace of Swords is a wake-up call. And a reality check. Eight of Coins. Hard work paying off. You are going to receive a golden opportunity that leads to prosperity, leads to permanence. After you've been treated unfairly by an individual that is very harsh, very brash, that lies, this person likes to fight with you. 
This is somebody that is very self-centered. I see self-doubt here. Some of you may be getting an offer from somebody that is very passionate, okay? This pa person is passionate. This person is a professional. They're very authentic. They're very real. You know, and you may not trust them. I feel like there's a, there's, there's, I don't trust you. This person is a hard worker. I would give them a chance. You could meet this person through your job if you work. You could meet this person outside. It feels like you could be in your gardens or buying flowers. Creating a, creating a landscape of some sort. Devil, oh boy. Devil is toxic energy and needing to sever ties. You need to sever ties with somebody. It could be Libra. It could be Capricorn. I feel like that you are bound to a toxic situation that you seriously need to break free from. This is unhealthy behavior. You need to get real because the Ace of Pentacles is reality. You really need to get real. You are tied to somebody and you have not severed those ties. You have not. You need to sever those ties. This is extremely unhealthy. There's materialism. There's illness. There's obsession. There's, there's greed. There's lust. I do believe that you may receive some news about an individual that has treated you unfairly. I don't think this is good news. They may be getting their karma, okay? And everything is, I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. I feel like you have manifested something. Maybe you've manifested freedom. Because I feel like you're free. I feel like by the end of this month, you are going to be glowing. I really feel like you're going to be like your vibration is raised. You're in a different place. You're free from this toxic situation. Completely free. I feel like you have been tied to a situation that is, uh, has been weighing you down. And I feel like this month... You are going to be looking at life differently. You're free to create the life that you want. And I feel like this is the very beginning with these ones. I, this is the beginning of a new life. You are free. You're free to create the life that you want. And I think it's a very happy time. So I feel like it is a time of going with the flow as you are uh, realizing that you are free. Some You may receive news about this person that has... Uh, kept you tied to them. You may receive news that tells you that you are free. You are dealing with somebody that has held you back from success. But I think that that time is over. I really do. Or it's coming to an end. Or maybe you just accept that it's over. This is a time of healing as well. Because if you think about temperance, it's a healing period. So, And the Queen of Swords is a very independent energy. So you may be want, needing to just be, uh, be independent. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on me. And creating the life that I want, that I see. Coming up with a new vision. And I do think you're going to be receiving visions this month. You're going to be receiving visions. You may be tempted to go down the wrong path with that devil card. Beware of greed. Beware of materialism. Okay? Think. Okay? Think before you spend your money. Is it worth it? 
So you really think about where you're spending your money this month. Do not let uh, social pressure cause you to overspend, okay? That would be a poor decision, okay? Really think about the choices that you make during this time, okay? Um, you are definitely manifesting a new life. You are headed in the right direction, but do not engage with people that want to fight with you. Do not look back. You are going in a new direction now. You may receive a message from somebody for that is not healthy for you. Okay, this is a bad message. It's not a good message. Not healthy. If you or this person may want to work things out, you know, or whatever. No. This will not turn out good. It will not turn out in your favor. You may also receive some a message about a person that, you know, is maybe this person's going to jail. Or they've gotten some sort of karma. Anyway, I do believe that you are headed in the right direction. This is going to be a month of creating that new life that you envision okay so it is a, it's actually a very positive month for you whoever you are dealing with is very unhealthy extremely unhealthy and i feel like uh there is some sort of justice or legal implications for this person whoever it is that you're dealing with good luck